we thought we can share a couple of iPhone keyboard tips that we use every day. Welcome back to Mash Tips. Before I jump into the keyboard tips, I want to introduce this Google Lens app. I just want to introduce a simple tip. I installed this Google Lens on my iPhone. This is a widget for Google. It comes with a Google Lens. If you want to track a shipment and if you think it is not easy to type the entire tracking code on your web browser, you can use this Google Lens and let it scan the page. You tap on this search button here, select only the required test here, and you can see immediately a pop-up here, track UPS package, and tap on it, then you will get the latest updates about that particular tracking code. Another scenario comes when you want to copy a part of the test from a manual to a document. Instead of typing this entire paragraph, you can just hold on this behind the Google Lens and the photo. Now it's already in the Google Lens app. Select the area you want to copy, then copy test. Now you can open your notes or whatever you want and paste there. Say you have a paragraph here and you want to precisely select something on on the word, sometimes it's not easy to select a particular letter or move your cursor in between a particular character. Especially if you have a fat finger like me, it's not that easy. Here with your iPhone, you can convert your space bar almost like a trackpad. So just to select any part of this thing, tap on the space bar and hold it, then you see easy and buttery move of your cursor. So if you wanna move back, you can move and place your cursor wherever you want. In addition to that, if you want to select a part of it, tap your second finger on the keyboard, then you can precisely select what you want. There is an additional option to undo a task on your iPhone. For example, if you delete this line, you can get the phone and shake it. Then you will get a pop-up menu to undo typing and it will come back. You can do the same thing for your emails. That's pretty interesting and I use all the time. If you accidentally archive or delete one email, you can quickly shake your phone and you can do the last action you did. So if you want to enable this shake on undo, go to settings, tap on accessibility, tap on touch, then shake to undo. Make sure you enable this. So when you want to put a period at the end of the line, instead of switching the keyboard to the symbols, you can just double tap on space button. So that will introduce a period there and move the cursor to the next level. When you type something and you want to get a copy paste menu over there, just double tap there, then you will have copy paste cut menu there. And there is an additional share indentation and all those details there and you can bold the test double tap to come back then you can copy paste there while you type if you accidentally delete something you can quickly get a undo redo pop-up menu over there just use your three fingers and tap once on the screen then you have undo button cut copy and paste Say you accidentally deleted a word from a line and you can immediately undo that. Just use your three fingers and swipe from right to left. That's it, so it's written back. And the same way you can redo the last action. Swipe left to right. Now, if you wanna quickly get a undo, use your three fingers and tap on it. You can easily get a special symbols from iPhone keyboard. Let me type for example, I'm in Canada now. Here the temperature is almost five. Then I want to get a degree. So just to tap on the zero, then press and hold. Now you see it's pop up for degree and select it and complete that. And also you can get a special symbols from most of the letters. 
you want to select a different character from e you will get most of the special characters if you tap and hold on any letter on iphone keyboard now i just want to show you something to quickly switch from a test keyboard to a numeric keyboard usually when you want to type something suit number 10 then i have to tap on it then select 10 that's it then i have to tap it back instead of this while you typing just suit number and tap hold on the number lock and go to the number release it then you are back to the test keyboard so if you want to type again hold on this release it so you don't need to permanently switch to the number keyboard for just for typing one or two numbers if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for latest updates there is another simple trick that you can save a lot of time when you are typing something or communicating with your teammate the point is that you can use some short words set on your iphone for test replacement for example i want to communicate somebody and if i just want to type how are you i can simply type h r u and iphone will bring you a the expanded version that i already typed there how are you and i can say i'm on the way that's the that's the one usually use most of the time so i'm on the way o m w that i said my way i'm on my way these are the simple keyword replacements that you can set on your iphone similarly you can save your website address or any office location or anything to replace your keyword so for example i can use as app and i set for as soon as possible and let me type my website empty web and it will bring the keyword replacement for that so i can immediately type it that's a way you can save a lot of time if you save a couple of test replacement like this so if you want to add more test replacements over there go to iphone settings general keyboard test replacements and here you can add more if you want so here for example for the face i use my website address and for the shortcut i use empty web so or another example as soon as possible for the face i use as soon as possible and for the shortcut i use as app so you can add one more the face and shortcuts here and save it so instead of using the two hand keyboard or typing in two hand if you want to use single hand typing just tap on this globe button here and based on your hand you can select where you want to so let me select this one so i can easily type with a single hand and if you want to disable and bring back the normal keyboard just tap on here you can do the same thing for the another hand hold on that button select the right one so now you can type with a single hand and once you have both hands free you can tap on it You may notice that when I'm typing something, the iPhone is almost predicting what I am going to type. So the pictures, or if I just type F here, then it's going to be F4. So it's very easy and it's going to save some time. If you wonder how to enable this feature or if it is not already there on your iPhone, go to iPhone settings and tap on general, then keyboard then make sure you turn on this predictive. So if you turn this on, iPhone is gonna predict the test that you're gonna type. It's pretty easy and it's save a lot of time for you. The next feature is that auto correction by iPhone. So when you type something and if you make any mistake, let me type a two H here, then if I play, if I tap on the space here, then iPhone will automatically correct that word for you. So for example, let me type F-R-O-M from, then either it will type groom or it will go to from. So if you think this is very useful, you can keep as is, or if you just want to disable that feature, go to iPhone settings and go to keyboards, then you have to turn this off, auto correction. And also you can, 
auto capitalize when you start a new line or something you can turn on this auto capitalization or you can turn it off so it's up to you for the last couple of ios versions the iphone keyboard start to support swipe typing so rather than typing the each letter here you can swipe and type so for example here are the cool tips to share and just move your fingers to each letters and it's gonna easily type it for you you don't need to use any space button here it will automatically add the space while you use the swipe key if you want to cancel anything that you type just to swipe out from the keyboard then it's gonna neglect what you type so that's an easy tip and if you make it fast it's easy to type by just swiping on your keyboard instead of touching each key do you want to bring back the sound when you type on your iphone keyboard you can go to settings and sounds and haptics and scroll down and keyboard clicks now come back and start to type and now you can listen the favorite keyboard sound that you missed before most of us are using this voice typing with iphone if you haven't tried that feature yet you can just tap on this mic here are the cool tips that i want to share with you just tap and release the mic then the keyboard will switch to voice typing then you can say whatever you want to type that's pretty cool the iphone is learning from your typing behavior and it will auto correct based on that if your iphone is predicting something wrong all the time you can reset all those things that already learned by your iphone you have to go to settings and general then tap on reset and you can see here reset a keyboard dictionary if you tap on this thing your iphone is going to delete all keyboard dictionary that learned from you from this many years or months so think before you delete that but there is an option to do that anyway It is always easy to switch the language on this keyboard if you want to do that. If you tap on this globe button, it will tell you what it is, another keyboard, so it's English US. And if you tap one more time, English Canada. These are the keyboards I already installed. And if you want to add more keywords, you can do that. So go to general and keyboard, keyboards, and add a new keyboard. Here, there is a huge list of keyboards. Just for the purpose, let me add Japanese. Then I added the keyboard addition over there. So if you tap on here, it is a Japanese keyboard. Honestly, I don't know what it is. So, but anyway, just for your demonstration purpose, you can add multiple keyboards on your iPhone. And finally, if you want to write some handwritten message on your iMessage with your keyboard, just rotate your phone in horizontal mode. Open the message window here. Tap on it. Then you may see the new icon here. Tap on it. You can write something here. Send. Or you can tap again. And there are a couple of handwritten messages over there. You can use a pre-written message from there. And say thank you. And send it. So thank you for watching this. Hope you enjoy this video and I'm pretty sure at least one of the tip is going to be useful for you. If you like our video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share with your friends. And if you are using any other helpful tips with your iPhone, please comment below so it would be useful for our readers. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and we will see you on next video. Thank you.